This is an All Sports Station production. Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Detroit Lions. With that, let's head inside to Ford Field in Detroit. We're standing by are the two men who will bring you this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, Coach, the seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Set to go from Detroit as Matt Prater approaches and booms it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their six-foot quarterback. You may have heard of him from Purdue. It's Drew Brees. And when you think of Drew Brees, you think of production, and you think of competitiveness. That guy competes on every snap, whether he's throwing it, moving around in the pocket, calling plays, you name it, he knows how to rally a team. Ready? You ready? My 40, my 40. You must, you must get tired of seeing me. Breeze now on first down. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times. And they operate as a terrific unit. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Breeze now to throw. Looking for Sanders, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Coleman, and he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. So from the 36 now, first and 10. In your face. After the interception, here's Stafford. Caught by Jones. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. 
Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. It's first and 10 at the 14. That's to his running back, carry on Johnson. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And the touchdown run came from Carrion Johnson to cap things off. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This is fielded at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. A first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And oh, his first carry. He loses the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? <laughs> right out of the gate, you're going to be admit, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. And Detroit getting set to go now. now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. Means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's a quick throw complete to Galladay. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. 
And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Now Prater to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's got to clear his mind a little bit right now. One carry, and that carry was a lost fumble. Clear his mind, clear his hands, and, this, and just let this one go. Sometimes it happens. You drop the ball, get a full game ahead of him, Hand it to him again, see if they can start to produce. Ready? The Saints ready? offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. And the starting crew defensively for Detroit. If your day involves blocking Danny Shelton, you better pack lunch and dinner. It's an all-day job. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw, it's Breeze. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Breeze. The open man is Smith. It's a foot race. 30, 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. Traquan Smith. 75 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? But listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. it usually meant... That thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Will Lutz on for the point after. And that one makes it 14 to 7. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown.
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The dump off good for eight there on first down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Throwing a Stafford. Open man, he's got him to tight end Hawkinson. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson and able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second and five now. Stafford for the catch made by Johnson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they're going to face a third down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction, so now what can they do on third? Here's Stafford. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 27-yard line. Not too many teams will use a first-round pick on a tight end, so you know that when one does, he's got to be pretty darn special. A small example of why they took him in the first round there. Nice little catch and run to get the good yardage. Stafford going to come up first and 10. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. Stafford now to throw. And he's got Amendola on the connection. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Running from the gun, Johnson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Now a handoff here to his running back. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Hey, ready? 180. Let's put them on the buses. Let's put that <laughs> On second down, Johnson. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. 
And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. From the gun, here's Stafford. Galladay's got it, and the Lions have a touchdown. Matthew Stafford, two touchdown passes in this first quarter, and the Lions are able to extend their lead. Well, Brandon, if we go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator, he showed us his script, didn't show us everything now. He said, here's the script for the game. I think everything's going according to plan in a big way. Three drives, three touchdowns. Yeah, that's about as good as, that is as good as you can do, I guess. So, well done. Yeah, well done indeed. Tremendous execution. And oh, it's blocked. The Saints have got it. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Well, there's a blocked extra point. I remember playing, and we had one of those go against us. I remember our kicker and our holder told the head coach, just relax, coach. Why are you yelling? Don't worry about it. It's just one point. Oh, my. Those coaches see a point is gold to them because you never know how it's going to turn out later. Exactly. That's why I was just going to say first quarter, we'll see if this has any implications as the game goes on. I still can't believe they told the head coach to relax. Whoa. <laughs> Bad move. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Ready. The Come last play got just a in. yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Breeze on the draw, gives to Kamara. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one, up to around the 33. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. 95-56, Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hey, let's get that ball, Let's get that ball right here. Tonight. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. From the 39, Breeze. He's got Smith here.
And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Shotgun now for Breeze. It's caught by Sanders. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And now let's look at the quarterback, Matthew Stafford, in our player spotlight. He's had one of those games that any quarterback loves, not only being able to complete some passes, but some deep passes. And it's pretty to watch. I mean, it's an absolute joy to see, but let's face it. We got to give a little bit of credit where it's deserved, right? Well, the protection's been great protection's if that's where you're been, going. Yeah, protection's been phenomenal, but how about how it's been spotlighted, right? Our producer, Christian McLeod, our director, Kyle Burt, the rest of the crew, what they put together with these images and pictures, if you're an offensive lineman, that's what you're taking with you to contract time. <laughs> They're going to have a lot to take to contract time if this continues. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, it's working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. On the ground, this is Johnson. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. They're going draw play. Stafford to Johnson. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. New Orleans adding some depth to the secondary. They've got six DBs out there now for third. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Oh, he may have gotten lucky. Tried to dump it off underneath on the check down. Nearly picked instead of Tim complete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Here's Jack Fox now. Amazing, perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure.
Ready. The Saints Ready. offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're And he's not going to get out of the end zone. Murray is taken down for the safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Agnew now to return. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against them. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Not today. Not. On second down, it's Johnson. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. The Lions on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 17. Out of the gun, Stafford. Looking downfield for Jones. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Here comes the Lions punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself, and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the scoreboard right now. 
So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 26. They begin on the ground with Kamara. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. 40, 30, 95, 56. Throwing on second and eight, Breeze, and it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Snap comes at one, and now Breeze. Blitz coming, and down he goes. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Breeze to throw. Complete. Smith has it. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Now Breeze. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that's caught inside the 30. A gain of 37. Let's go. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, Maybe they'll inspire their defense as well. They'll get a few stops. Ready? So now then, Ready? the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to the ground. It's Kamara. It's the pro bowler, Jamie Collins, that makes the stop. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap Ready. nicely, kept Run him down. to just a one yard gain. They're gonna need some therapy after this. <laughs> they keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. The Saints on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On fourth down, off goes Drew Brees, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. This will be a 37-yard attempt. And Lutz puts this one through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense.
Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because, because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25-yard line. To throw is Stafford. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, Who's fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. <laughs> Throwing again, Stafford. And it's caught here, Amendola. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. From the 40 now on second down. Stafford nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack you coming from me? defensive end hey, Cameron Jordan. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. Operating from the gun, Stafford and Amendola with a catch. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 44-yard line. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Sideline incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. Second and 10 from the 33 yard line. 
to throw again. Stafford. Open man is Galladay complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. Stafford now 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. Back to throw, Stafford. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. 10 yards on the pick up there and it'll be second down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the deep. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Prater on to add the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. A 10-play drive that time. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that. They actually take it upon themselves and say, okay, I have to do even more or I need to play better. Maybe even say, I put my defense in a bad spot. That's what true leadership shows you. Yeah, well, he doesn't Ready? need to change Kobe? much personally. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 24. Good now a play fake. Breeze. He's going to air one out. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense no, and let the other me. team know they were coming after him. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Kamara off the draw. And an alley to run. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Check, check. 
A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Looking deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and that'll bring up second down. They decide to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Breeze going to throw. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 44-yard line. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Breeze now gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains, and really it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. Breeze now hitting on two-thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far, first and 10. Here's Breeze. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Again, it's Breeze. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he loses the football a second time. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. <laughs> they begin the drive with Johnson. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. to about the 35. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Stafford now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. From the gun, Stafford. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. Set, baby. Set, baby. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, 
That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And they're going to be waiting for him as they get him behind the line. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 25 yard line and they start the second half with Johnson and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. And he's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They go to Johnson again. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Stafford gives to Johnson on the draw. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on here to punt it away. This is brought in at the 21, and he is out of bounds right around the 34. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. 
other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. Get and ready. sometimes they throw get in ready. that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Ready. 5-9. You better bring I'm letting you know right now. On second and nine. Breeze. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. <laughs> Following the penalty, it's Camara. They get the penalty yardage back plus a yard. Six-yard gain, and it's second and nine. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Yellow lady, yellow lady. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. On second and nine. Breeze. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes. And they were able to put the receiver on the ground. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Looking here for Smith downfield. And this is taken in at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in the cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, it's Breeze. Looking for Thomas. He's got him. Touchdown, New Orleans. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Saints get a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Lutz with the extra point, and that will shave one more off this lead. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans.
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This fielded at the two. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. No partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. the draw here's Johnson and he's not going to sniff the first down here he stopped at the 25 oh, yeah. give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down well they got off the field on third down an excellent job an excellent defensive series we always talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime but the best teams adjust series to series and on that series they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This is taken at the 18. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball to cut down that lead. Now the defense has done their part, got them the football back. Momentum started to shift a little bit when they scored the touchdown. It increased when the defense got them the ball back. Momentum definitely in their favor. Now they got to keep things cranking, keep it on high so they can keep cutting into that lead. Ready. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. Everyone's got four. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. The veteran Jamie Collins there on the tackle. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Ready. 95-56. 95 95-56. Again, it's Kamara. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Let's go. Let's Nine go. yards go. to pick up there, and it's a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Ready. So after the run Ready. by Kamara, now another Ready. first and Watch 10. Time. You got three. Three down. Three down. Three down. Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, but it's going to be second down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Now Breeze finding Kamara, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Ready. 
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, it's Breeze. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So out now come the Lions. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 24. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. On second down now, it's Johnson, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense, and on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Ready, red 80. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Stafford on first down. He finds his man, Johnson. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Johnson on the counter, and he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Here's a 20th carry for Johnson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. zone now Stanford and oh it's complete what a catch at the seven a 14 yard pickup that's 14 yards on two straight plays the catch deservedly so is going to get a lot of credit but even more so because there's a defender there ready to make a play yeah just flat out muscled on that one the three red zone trips three touchdowns so far they'll look for a fourth on second and goal Stanford 
Galladay's got it, and the Lions have a touchdown. Kenny Galladay, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Lions are able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me, very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Prater for the extra point. And that will make this a 19-point game. So that drive in total, eight plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Hey, yeah, he, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and 14, Breeze. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. The Saints on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and 14. Shotgun now for Breeze. Bearing it out deep for Smith. It's caught inside the 25. A big time play there for New Orleans. 56 yards. That's a heck of a way to convert on third and long, and he showed a lot of trust in his receiver. And that trust was justified because he went up and got the football and converted on it down. You shouldn't. Third and long like that? That's supposed to be an incompletion at the least. Ready. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Now Breeze. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Thomas, the intended target, and it's second down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. 
Breeze again here on second and 10. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The Saints on third Ready. down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and four. On the ground, this is Kamara. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the nine yard line. Bit of a surprise, they ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call, first and 10. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in a game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they've met pretty much every challenge in front of them this afternoon. They're still trying to run the ball, but they're not finding much space. That's going to set them back five yards. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Marie's now to throw. And that's complete to Sanders. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Here's Breeze to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So now fourth and goal, you're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Lutz is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Back onto the field comes the offense. Let's take a closer look at Carrion Johnson. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 26. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. 
Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Here's Johnson, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now, that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking it in the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Silver, silver. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demario Davis coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means the other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That They occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation allows him to get home. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Pulled in at the 24. So possession goes over here Let's on the punt. Let's go. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Breeze. And this is Cook with a grab. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Decent start there to the drive. Big hill to climb, needing two touchdowns, also a two two-point conversion. So, partner, how do you eat an elephant? I don't eat an elephant who eats elephant. <laughs> but if you do, you do it one bite at a time. Okay. That's the way they've got to play this, one okay. play at a time. Yes, there's urgency, but they have to be careful as well. Let's go with like a 50-ounce ribeye. Yeah. One, one bite at a time. All right, I'm with you. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Breeze's throw on target to Cook. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 20-yard line. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and this is what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. He's going to come Ready. up here, first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. 
If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Looking to throw again on second down. Breeze, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He's got another first down, and he's also just a few yards short of 200 for the ball game. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run it in with Burton. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. Second and goal from the one. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Watch the safety creep. They'll run it with Camara. And he's not going to push his way forward. He's going to be stopped at the two-yard line. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the one. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Throwing now is Breeze. And he's got it! Touchdown, Saints! Josh Hill there to make the grab as his guys are able to pull a bit closer. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either oh, way, you tend 56. to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Come on, QB, come on. Now Breeze. And they will get back to within one score as he is into the end zone and the lead's cut to eight here in the fourth. And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two point play, it worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this Pick one, up. so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. The pass there over the middle to start things out. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there and a line first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Johnson, and an alley to run. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 
I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second and nine, Stafford, and he's got Amendola on the connection. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give him seven there on the first down carry. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Now it's Stafford. The catch is made by the tight end, Nauta. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. From the two now, second and goal. Stafford going to throw it. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. He had no options downfield there and just chucked it out of bounds. There was no one open. He was in the pocket. Where was the intentional grounding call? Oh, you wanted the flag. Of course I did. I'm a defensive guy. You know that. Where was the flag? The officials point out that someone was in the area. He got away with one. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. That's to his running back, Carrion Johnson. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, you throw it this close to the goal line, usually you're thinking touchdown. Here they actually complete it but lose yardage. When you're this close to the goal line, you have to anticipate that maybe you're going to see a defense that you can make a case that there's 11 in the box. There's just no room. So I'm with you. You've got to find a way to push things downfield a little bit. Any type of space is better than what we just saw there. And that end result, not one that's satisfactory to them. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that will bump the lead up to 11. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, they've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple on, extra yards up to the 27 yard line. So Breeze and the Saints 
Down by 11, 45 seconds remaining. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first and 10, here's Breeze. On the check down, he finds Kamara. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.